10 amazing discoveries on microbes in Microbes are the oldest form on life on our planet. They are an extremely diverse group of organism, and in terms of species numbers, they represent the most abundant life form on this planet. Take a trip to the marvelous world of microbes, where bacteria breathe electricity, neon yellow slime molds forage for snacks on the forest floor, and thousands of mysterious viruses hang out in our guts. Scientists have found fossil more than 3.5 million years old that contain remnant of the earliest bacteria like microbes. Such fossils tell us that these microscopic organisms were around when the earth was covered with water, which often reached boiling point. 2021 was another amazing year in discoveries, as scientists made a slew of fascinating discoveries about the microscopic organism living in and all around us. We are going to look at 10 of those discoveries. They are Number 1. Lake isolated beneath Antarctic ice could be more hospitable to microbial life than thought. In a study published on 17 February 2021, in Science Advances, researchers from Imperial College London, the University of Lyon, and the British Antarctic Survey, have shown subglacial lakes may be more hospitable to microbial life than they first appear. More than 400 subglacial lake like beneath the Antarctic ice sheet, beyond the reach of sunshine. But thanks to geothermal heat flux, the flow of heat from the Earth's interior, scientists think that, a teeming community of microbes may thrive in these pitch-black ecosystems. As they have no access to sunlight, microbes in these environments do not gain energy through photosynthesis, but by processing chemicals. These are concentrated in sediment on the lake beds. This drives vigorous convection current that stir up the waters, liberating minerals from the sediment below, while capturing oxygen and minerals from higher region of the water column. The flow of oxygen and minerals rich water through the lakes, should theoretically help fuel microbial growth. Number 2. This goey brainless blob can store memories. A new yellow slime mold can store memories, even though it lacks a nervous system. Now scientists have found a new clue as to how the brainless blob manages this impressive feat. Slime mold belong to the same taxonomic group as amoebas. The new study published February 22, 2021, in the journal Proceeding of the National Academy of Sciences, Scientists found that, in the neon yellow slime mold, Fasarum polycephalum, the diameters of these branching tubes can encode information. Such as where the slime mold has recently found food, it leaves an imprint of thick tubes where the food once sat, this then influences which direction the blob can move next. Number 3. Many deep sea microbes invisible to mammalian immune system. One way the mammalian immune system defends against pathogen known and novel is by picking up on common microbial features, such as element of bacterial cell wall or flagella. But a study published in Science Immunology indicates that this detection system has some blind spots. Scientists found deep-sea bacteria that are invisible to the human immune system. They found the bugs lurking about 1,650 miles 2,655 kilometers southwest of Hawaii and 13,000 feet, 4,000 meters, under waters, in a remote region that would have little contact with mammalian life. They are invisible to mammalian immune cells, despite the presence of familiar bacteria cell wall component lipopolysaccharide. The team used a remote submarine to collect marine bacteria from samples of water, sponges, sea stars and sediment and then cultured the bacteria back in the lab. They then exposed mouse and human immune cells to the bacteria and strikingly, they found that 80% of the microbes, mostly belonging to the genus Moritella escaped the cell's detection. This findings implies that, there's a lot more potential for a pathogen to escape our immune responses than we had previously thought. Number 4. Microbes from cow stomach can decompose plastic. A research in Austria shows that, the microbial found in cattle stomach can break down certain kind of plastic. The small building block molecules that are left behind, can be reused to make recycled plastics. Cow consumes and digest a natural polyester produced by plants called cutin. So scientists suspected that the animal tummies, may carry microbes that can also digest synthetic polyester-like PET. The team obtained fresh rumen liquid from a local slaughterhouse, that would otherwise go to waste. They incubated this with three types of plastic, PET, PBAT and PEF. 
they tested both film and powder form of each plastic. The fluid broke down all three types of plastic, and the powder degraded faster than the films. Number 5. Common cold virus may predate modern people, ancient DNA hints. Scientists uncovered bits of viral DNA in two 31,000-year-old baby teeth and reconstructed the evolutionary history of the pathogens. Their evaluation means that human adenovirus C, a species of virus that usually cause delicate cold-like sickness in children, may have originated greater than 700,000 years in the past. Lengthy earlier than Homo sapiens walked the Earth, the crew reported in a research posted on June 28, 2021. To the preprint database BioCive, they based their conclusion of their analysis of two nearly complete HADV C genomes found in the baby teeth, which they compared to modern day adenovirus sampled between the 1950s and 2010s. Number 6. 635 million year old fossil is the oldest known land fungus. A research by Shuhia Seo, a professor of geosciences with the Virginia Tech College of Sciences, and Tian Gan, a visiting PhD student in the Seo lab, highlight yet another important role that fungi have played throughout the Earth's history helping the planet recover from ice age. Their findings were published in Nature Communication on January 29, 2021. The scientists uncovered fossilized thread-like filaments in rocks from China's Dushantuo formation in Guizhou province. These tiny tendrils invisible to the naked eye may be the world's oldest evidence of a fungus growing on land. The researchers found these microfossil by taking 0.002 inch thick 50 micrometers slices of rock and placing them under a microscope. This revealed thin branching filament, about one tenth the width of a human hair, and tiny spheres that could be interpreted as fungal spores. The fossil is about 635 million years old, meaning it would have formed during a frigid period known as Snowball Earth. This discovery is key for understanding multiple turning points through Earth's history. Number 7. Genes from tiny viruses can turn bacteria into superbugs. Researchers from the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine discovered that phages tiny viruses that attacks bacteria are key to initiating rapid bacteria evolution. Leading to the emergence of treatment-resistant superbugs, their findings were published in Science Advances. The researchers studied Pseudomonas aeruginosa, a type of bacteria that rank among the leading causes of hospital-acquired infections. The researchers showed that, contrary to a dominant theory in the field of evolutionary microbiology, the process of adaptation and diversification in bacteria colonies doesn't start from a homogeneous colonial population. They were shocked to discover that the cause of much early adaptation wasn't random point mutations. Instead, they found that phages, which we normally think of as bacteria's parasites, are what gave the winning strains the evolutionary advantage early on. Number 8. Microbes that feast on crushed rocks thrive in Antarctica ice-covered lakes. An ice-covered lake in Antarctica hosts a slew of microbes that survive by chowing down on crushed rocks. The study, led by the University of Bristol and published in Nature's Communications Earth and Environment journals, sheds new light on many compounds, supporting various microbes which form part of a huge subglacial ecosystem. Researchers found this by studying sediments collected from Lake Williams, a 23 square mile, 60 square kilometers, subglacial lake buried beneath 2,600 feet, 800 meters, of ice. The research team replicated erosion process in ice sheets in the lake by crushing sediments collected then wetting these sediments and keeping them at zero degrees Celsius without oxygen to approximate subglacial conditions. Findings showed that the lake sediments released various chemicals such as hydrogen, methane and carbon dioxide as well as gases and liquid that had been trapped within the sediments. For every chemical released from the rocks, the team found a group of microbes that have evolved to exploit for energy. Number 9. Scientists discover on and off switch for bacteria that breathe electricity. Deep in the seabed, teens bacteria exhale electricity through a long thin snorkel. And now, scientists have found a way to turn the electro-breathing of these microorganisms on and off. In a study published September 1, 2021, in the journal Nature, these bizarre bacteria rely on two proteins that band together in a single hair-like structure called pili. The pili sit just beneath the membrane. They found these pili move like pistons in an engine pumping up and down, helping push the snorkel out of the cells into the surrounding environment, 
allowing the microbes to breathe a steady stream of electrons. But if you remove the pumping pili, the snorkel stays stuck inside the cell. Not only does this discovery reveal unexpected things about bacteria biology, it may also pave the way for new technologies, from powerful microbial-powered batteries to new medical treatment for bacteria infections. Number 10. More than 70,000 previously unknown virus species found in the human gut. Researchers at the Wellcome Sanger Institute and Embel's European Bioinformatics Institute have identified over 70,000 unknown viral species living in the human gut and infecting the bacteria that live there. The paper published, the 18th of February 2021, in Cell, contain an analysis of over 28,000 gut microbiome samples collected in different parts of the world. They found these viruses using a method called metagenomics, which involves sampling genetic material from a large community of microbes and matching the sequence to specific species. The team identified tens of thousands of new found bacteriophages or viruses that can affect bacteria. It's still unclear if and how these bacteriophages affect the body, but the vast majority likely are not harmful to humans. 